unpacking a bunch of new tools with small but meaningful Hello, hello, good evening, HOTS fans. Sorry for the delay. I had a little technical problem on my end, but I think we are good to go now. Um, so let's go right to it, because we want to see a match. We are seeing FC H Hong Kong versus HOTS Chad Division D East semifinals. Let's go straight to the draft. All right, first map we are going to is All Track Pass. First pick, first ban is the blue team, FC Hong Kong, and the first ban is Brightwing. And first ban for the red team is Sonya. And Samuro is the second ban. We are just rolling through this draft. Each team is familiar with each other, and each team knows what each team likes. I like it, I like it, and they're just Picking right away. And Leoric. Okay, so we have two offlaners banned by the right team, and Vala is insta locked by the blue team. Leave her open, people will take it for sure. And Blaze and Joanna picked. There's the offlane. They already started a choke on the offlane. So they figured, well, we better pick up our offlane fast. Still a lot of good offlaners, though. There's still Hogger. I wouldn't be surprised if Hogger gets picked. It's good to take those camps. Those camps down the middle are one of the priorities on this map because they reduce the armor. Junkrat and Rhaegar is taken. So we got your healer and you got your range damage. So that both DPS... For for the blue team is taken already. They still need a tank and an offlaner. Will the red team ban another offlaner like Hogger? Oh no, Malthal instead. Okay. I guess they're not afraid of Hogger. They're afraid of last rites of Malthal instead. All right, so. Red team needs a healer and their DPS. Still a lot of good healers and Anduin, so no light bomb, no pulls, no spoiling of the fun, as I like to call Anduin. He spoils all the fun by, by pulling everyone out of there. Jaina, it's their DPS. And. And Tronde. Oh, I don't see her too often. Nice. So we got a lot of CC on the red team. We got Joe, we got Jaina, Blaze, and Tronde all have some sort of CC. Rhaegar's got a cleanse, but it's only one. It's got a decent cooldown on that. Murden and Thrall. Okay, so blue team has some CC of their own. And who will the red team pick for the offline? I mean, for their last DPS. Zuljen. Ooh, all right. Red team's got a lot of damage. A lot of damage. Damage and CC. I, I can see where our red team's going. All right, here we go. As a reminder, this is best of five, so we could be here for a while. We go all five games. And this is East Coast, so most of these people are going to be staying up late. All right. Oh, look, these. I like these um, portraits. We got the black and white on the right side and very colorful on the left side. Purple and green. I like it. I'm not quite sure what that is, though. I guess that's some sort of flower. All right. Game one. Division D East. Matchup between number two FC Hong Kong and number three Hot Chads. On the left team, the blue team, the number two team, we have Geo on Thrall. 
Fizzle on Rhaegar, Splenda Daddy on Vala, Alan Hicks on Muradin, and Calyrix on Junkrat. And on the right side, we have Mimaios on Tarande, Botio on Blaze, Elio on Joanna, Ratbass on Jaina, and Codename Zero on Zul'jin. All right, Al misses. Oh, nope, he did get one. He got a little bit of Rhaegar. Clipped it a little doggy. All right, what do we got? Rolling Thunder, Totem, Auto Attack, Third Wind, Extra Round Tigers, Ranger, Jones Stimpak, Zealous Glare, Chill, and Ruckusness. All right, everyone is playing it safe. And there goes Joe, we got three man condemned though. Oh, but the Jug Rat Boop goes sideways instead. If it had gone forward, some of those could have been lethal. Junkrat's gonna be the X Factor, I think. If he can get those boops, get people out of position. Alright, Blaze already started up top, so he's got an easy clear. And he's gonna try to slow down Thrall there. But he should be okay. Oh, well, maybe not so much. He went to pick up that. Is he gonna pay for it? Oh, he got that. He went for those missing experience globes. Alright, so. Oh, nice. Early camp on the blue side. Oh, Blaze takes, gets taken down by Thrall. And I thought Thrall was low. But no, the green Jesus came back and killed Blaze. All right, so first blood goes to the blue team. First camp goes to the blue team. All right, I don't think Blaze is going to miss a lot of experience up top. So he should be okay. Murden tries to jump in. He's going for Zildjian and <laughs> takes him down. Blue team is taking the early lead. Two kills right away within two minutes. And the camp is on the tower since the nice thing about oh, nice thing about the camps, it lowers the armor. Man, I tell you, if Jack ever gets those boops right, he's gonna kill someone really fast. Early level one for Thrall means trouble for Blaze. Percents damage. Yep, you are correct. Thrall can be really deadly. And it looks like uh, Blaze is going for a PVE build. Kill minions faster. Mercenaries. He's going to miss a little soak up top. But he's going coming down for the objective. Looks like it. Oh, oh, there we go. They got Joe, but he's Joe. Can he get a body block? Oh, where's the stun? Where's the stun emerging? Oh, there we go. Vala gets the kill. Oh, Junkrat's going to be definitely the X Factor here. Three kills right away in three minutes. Kill a minute. Junkrat is going to be a pain in the butt. And blue team's already on the camp again. Tronin's going back for mana. All right, early sevens for the blue team. It comes to Al. It's going to check the camp. And it misses. But it, they know it's been cleared. Oh, can they get Blaze? No, it's only one person. It's only Junkrat. But... Man, he's so low, he could have been it. Skullcracker. Ooh, I like Skullcracker. I like this build by Meridian. Alright. Early camp goes to Blue Team. Ooh, the owl clips, Vala. Oh, oh not, not fast enough. They still get it. Alright. Blaze is getting some suck up top. They got sevens. Alright, here comes defense by the blue team. Well, they gotta clear the camp first. They're gonna give up the time on the camp. Oh my gosh! Rhaegar so low. Alright, as soon as Thrall. Alright, camped him pretty good though. Got the gate, most of one tower. And now it's 5, 5v5. Blue team's looking to take it back. 
Oh, the boop missed. Oh, and red team's got it. Blue team needs to do something about it. Oh, Joe's so low there. They're blocking. Joe, oh my gosh. The team is body blocking Joe to get out of there. Someone needs to channel it. 18 seconds. Oh, nice. Nice. Ray got by Zuljin. He's down. I think red team's got to give this up. One man down. They can stall with the uh, owl. Red team needs to be careful because their DPS is over here. All right, nice, nice stalling by Tarande, but not enough. They had to clear this camp. All right, first eject goes to the blue team. All right, red team was able to get the camp first, so that's going to help them. The losing ground on the bottom and the middle. Red team also has a little bit of structural damage lead, but blue team is about to get pens half a level. They got to be careful. Red team's got to be careful. Looks like the middle lane is the focus for the blue team. Red team is going to just clear lanes everywhere else. All right, can they get the wall? They, they need to at least match what blue team did. All right, five man, blue man push on the middle. Here comes, we got tens. Ancestral, Bane of Vengeance, Avatar, Riptire, and Earthquake. Oh, there's Earthquake. Earth, can they go? And the Riptire pushes them back. They just want the middle fort. They might not. Oh, no. Oh, no. Vala with the Q gets. Oh, can they? But Murden pays for it. But they got the fourth. That's what they wanted. I think that's worth it. Worth, worth it for blood. Unless they die again. Unless Ray of Vengeance stalls them out. Oh my gosh. Thrall. You need to be careful. This is just stacking on you. Oh, okay. Thrall finishes quest. Nice. Reduce the cooldown. Alright. With the red team in. Shadowstalk, Bunker, Shield, oh, Ellie, and Tazdingo. Okay, no surprises. All right, so that was worth it. First of all, objective to get the first fort. Red team, are they going to try to sneak the boss? No, they're going, they're going to go focus the bottom fort. I think. Yep, there they are. Let the red team clear the camp in the middle and focus the... But they got no minion waves, though. I don't think they're going to get it. Red team's coming down to reinforce it. Ooh. Trying to stun missed. Alright, so now blue team's got to clear the middle now. They go. Oh, nice stun! It's... Can, no! Here comes... Oh, but... I thought they might have had a chance, but he still had the avatar and he had the jump still. But red team didn't want to force anything. But they will probably go for this gate. I think they're definitely going to get the tower. Blue team's about to hit 13. Red team's got to be careful. Nice two man stun there, but no follow up. Ball's not doing too good on her stacks though. 37 only. She's playing it safe. Here comes the Riptide and the Earthquake. They're going for it. They're going for it. Oh! And now he's popped. It's the ice block. Oh, can they get Oh, Zuljin's still alive. But Jaina goes down. Jaina goes down. Can they? Oh my. Zuljin almost, almost died too. But the fort still stands. And all the ults are gone. Blue team, red team's got 13s too. Oh, Murder's going in and the stop, but there's no follow up. They just want the fort. They just want the fort. Blue team, gotta be careful. Red team, I don't think it's worth dying for it. You got a minion wave coming though. That, that'll help. 
Blaze is starting the objective. Here comes Jaina. I think they're going to do it. Yes, they did. And Blaze gets the objective. Nice job, red team. And they're, and they're stalling the blue team from going back. This could be an easy objective for a red team. Red team is, is, is trying to get the bottom, but blue team is getting camps. I guess they're going to give up the... Oh my gosh! Oh no! Oh, Murden went for that globe! Bad choice! Paid for it! Gets condemned by Joanna and then just died. Not stunned by Vala! Oh, but no other follow-up! Oh! Wow, 0.8 seconds, they get the camp back. They get their camp and then they get the objective with 0.8 seconds. Nice job by the blue team there. They did lose Merton, but they saved the bottom fort and they got their camp and they 0.8 seconds on the objective. Experience wise, it's pretty even now. But just passive experience from taking out this fort. It's just going to help the blue team in the long run. Red team needs to take out some more structures. Alright, red team's got their camps. That's going to help them. Blue team has to answer it. Nice stalling by the red team. Could not channel it. Ellie's popped. Here we go. They're going for ball. Oh, junk red. Oh, they want Bala too! Earthquake is gone! And they go and Cecil misses! And Cecil misses! Merton going for um, Zildjian, but he just pops up. Kaz Dingo! Here comes uh, Merton! Oh, that's it. oh my gosh! This is going bad for worse! Merton needs to get out of there. He does, he have, a, he does have a jump. The Ancestral missed on Bala, and that was all she wrote. Alright, blue team is turned the tide. They got the lead, they got the objective, and Muradin's playing with fire there. Alright, this fort is going to go down before the objective even gets here. Alright, so now the question is, can they get a keep? Blue team needs 16. But they're not gonna get it. Nice boop! Nice boop! But it's Joe! It's Joe! But she's still gone! Joe can't can't stand it. Alright, this is blue team chance. They need to focus on objective. Focus. Oh! Nice root! Oh, and Murdy goes in with the stun! Oh, can I get him? And the boop went to ground again! Does he have no he does not have to have Dingo? Oh the defense is holding! The defense is holding! They do lose all their forts though. The red team has a structural advantage now. And a slight lead, but there are two men down. Alright, objective did pretty good. I got all three forts and partial keep. And they're going for boss. Here we go. Red team's nowhere to get it. They should be getting their boss. They're going to get the keep camp first. Here comes the L to check. They know they're on it, so Red Team's got to hurry and get their boss. Thrall is here just to get the globe, because he's not going to do any damage. And they got to go through this fort, but the top boss is going straight to keep. Blue Team's got to clear this camp. All right, red team's going to look for a flank. Junkrat could be in trouble. Oh, Murden is trying to stall, but he could be in trouble. They're split. Oh my gosh, blue team is so split. Oh my gosh, the stun misses though. The stun misses. Murden's trying to zone him out, and he jumps. Oh, Blade misses the stun. The root by Thrall misses. Oh, but the shield and Cestal hits though, and they're quick to slow him down. Oh, the slow. They're coming! Oh no! Murder, you gotta get out of there! Oh, but Toronto goes down! Toronto, Murder might go down! Oh, now Murder jumps in! 
Oh, the bunker! The bunker murder has to go down! Oh, and the bosses are... No one cares about the boss! Oh no! Oh, the wall goes down too! The front line of blue team is down! The stun by blade misses! Oh, the boop boops him out! The boop saves him! Oh my gosh. But the boss... Is the red team... Red team pushing mid keep. They want the mid keep. Can Junkrat save it? Blue team says, forget it. We're going to go for the camp. Oh, so close. So low. How much did they... The boss got the tower in the gate, and the boss got half the keep there. All right. Red team is definitely taking control of this game. They got half a level lead. They're going to get 20s first, and they're on the objective. All right, Thrall's back up. Oh, nice stun on Junkrat. Ellie on the back line. Ellie's on the back line, but he gets booped out. They gotta kill Ellie. Oh, can they get... Oh, nice ice block. Nice ice block. And Zvala, oh, the bunker. The bunker to save him. Oh, but the boop and the earthquake. They get Joe. They're, they want Junkrat. The, oh, but Johnny, the Blaze, the Blaze with the stun! The Earthquake is still up! I think at Blaze, he was in the back line! He was trying for Vala, but Vala was able to get out of there and survive. Two men down, the front line down. Red team should have played it passive, get, wait for 20s. They should have given the objective back out and sunk for 20s, but now two kills. Blue team has caught up in experience, they're gonna get 20s about the same time. All right, Thrall's coming back. Junkrat is back. I don't think Red Team can do anything. Because 15 seconds, and this is 16 seconds, so then Red Team won't have a front line. Blaze is doing a good job clearing lanes. Alright, let's see what this objective gets. Ooh, nice dodge on the L there. Looks like the blue team is going to focus down the middle. Alright, what do we got for 20? Shooting star, fortified bunker, blinded by the light, winter mute, surprise for ya, earth and shield, far quiver. Oh my god, I like the blue team's 20s so much better. With the earthquake and the double ancestral and the rewind, the extra oomph. Here we go. Blaze is looking for a flank, he's looking for a flank. Here he goes, here he goes. Oh, nothing. No, ancestral used already. Oh my gosh, that was early. That is early. That is a. Uh, that is down. Oh the, oh the earthquake to slow him down. They got they got shields. The this winter mute is not doing a whole lot. They're doing a good job. Neutralizing it. Oh, nice defense by the red team. Nice and there's the root though. Okay, Vals only got a hundred one. That is not good at all. And, well, they might get this keep. Okay, they got one keep. All right, so they did, they did get the first keep of the game. And they're setting up for boss. That's the boss timer. Boss will be up as soon as this objective is dead. Owls check too early? Are they going to go for it, or is it going to be a bait? It is going to be a bait. It's going to be a bait. Here we go. Owl was ready to use, so they don't know. They got a face check it. Oh, but they saw Junkrat! They saw Junkrat! Can they get him? Oh, unstoppable! Stun on Rhaegar! Ancestral's up in 25, Bunker! Oh my gosh! There's no Ancestral! No Ancestral! Oh, and Bunker takes out Jaina! Oh my god! Uh, no! Oh, murdered! Dies mid leap! Mid leap, he dies! Oh, Ancestral in 10! Earthquake and 18. Oh no, he's so slow. Nice route. Nice route. Oh my gosh. All right, Ancestral's up now. 
but could be the boss. They don't need Jaina for the boss. They just need a front line and a healer. It was a nice idea but for the bait, but they had no cooldown. They did get the early kill on Jaina, but Murden stayed a little too close. They're going for it. They're going for it. Oh, this this could be game. This is the final fight. Whoever wins this is going to win. And then Chesto gets hit. And they get him. Oh, can they get? Oh, Joe's down. And they steal the boss. They steal the boss. And Blaze is down. This is the game. This is game. Oh, my gosh. Can they get Tron? Can they get him? Oh, yes. Nice. This is game. Good job. Oh, but they still need to take out one keep. I don't... Can they get it with one keep down with, with the boss? I don't know. It's got two shields. Can they do it? They're going for it. Here comes the boss. They got the DPS there, though. Oh, it's going down fast. It is going down fast. Two shields, it doesn't matter. One shield, zero shield, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. GG. Oh my gosh, they did it without our front line. Nice job. Nice job, blue team. Nice job. I thought red team was going to turn that around with the boss. I didn't think blue team would, would go for it. I thought they were going to just defend and and go for the objective. Raw, look at that. 65k. Zuljin with 689. Oh, 9... Five and one. Not a lot of stacks, but when she hit, she made it count. Nice job. Nice job. All right. Let me give them their points. Blue team update. All right. One zero to blue team. You know what? I want to see that last fight again. Let's see if I saved that. I did not. Oh, sad days. Did not save. All right, so game two. Wait, that's not what I wanted. This is what I wanted. There we go. Game two. Remember, this is best of five. So we still have a long ways to go. Hot Chad still has a chance. These are ranked two and three. As you can tell, they're very close. They are very close in skill level and um, ranking. It went back and forth. FC Hong Kong had the early lead, but then... Hot uh, Chads um, took over, and basically it was the boss fight that won it. I thought the red team um, had set up a nice bait, but they failed. So uh, Hot Chads went for it, but then they came back, FC Hong Kong, and took the boss. Nice job. And second game, we are going to Infernal Shrines. All right, let me update this. All right, who picked this? The blue team picked this one. Okay, we are in the lobby. We are waiting for people to ready up. And we're going to game two. Oh, one person's going for a bio break. All right, so... Um, we still have some more time. All right, Infernal Shrines. Now this is... I like this map because it forces you to fight on one 
one point kind of like Althrag Pass. I like um, maps where you're forced to fight. And we are all here, and it looks like we'll be starting soon. Alrighty. First pick, first ban goes to Red Team. Will they continue their offlane bans? Infernal Shrine, this is a map made for Hogger, but was not banned or picked in the first game, so maybe no one plays it. But if you do, this would be the map to do it. Sanya, nope, they're sticking with their with their standard offlane bans. They banned Sonya in the first game, too. And Brightwing was also the first ban for the blue team. And I believe Leoric was the second ban the red team did in the first game. And there it is, they're sticking with the same bands. And Samara. Yep, same four bands. Alright, what is first pick worthy? Is Blaze. Alright. Blaze is good. And since they did a. Oh, but they stole Joanna. And still have Vala. Alright, I expect Vala to go W build here. For the shrines. Just to help clear the objective. Alright, red team. They had Joe in the first game. Who are they going to pick instead? Deckard and Cassia. Okay, so they replaced Zuljin with Cassia. And they got Deckard. Alright. Stay a while and listen. Alright, so blue team. Who is the third band last game? Anubarak. Okay, so no cocoon. Interesting. And the final ban for the red team. Mouth down. All right, the same exact bans for the red team. So, will that force blue team to go thrall again in the offlane? Thrall did pretty good. Can't say he was bad. Stuka! Oh, 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 silence! And Tassada! Oh my gosh! You get uh, Joanna Condemn with the Tassada wall, and then Stuka drops a silent puzzle on top of Anyone there? They're gonna be stuck there for a while. And Val is gonna go pew 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 on them. All right. So, oh, Malganis. When was the last time I saw Malganis in NGS? All right. So I assume Deckard's gonna go for sleep. So we got the double sleep with Malganis and Deckard. Alright, so uh, I was going to say blue team should pick Anna for more sleeping, but they already have a healer. And Thrall again, okay. I guess they're picking on the offlaner, force him to use Thrall. But Thrall is pretty good. 
is level 20 earthquake um quite powerful but I, I i think i actually would like thunder in this matchup separate everyone wall them in and then silence them Tornado versus Black Hole and the ultimate showdown. I uh, I still think Deckard might go to sleep here. Just to match Malganus for more sleepy time. Alright, game two, division D East between number two, FC Hong Kong versus number three, Hot Chads. On the left side, we have the blue team with Geo on Thrall, Jay Tizzle on Stukov. Blended Daddy on Bala, Alan Hicks on Joanna, and Calyrix on Tassadar. And on the right side, Hot Chads. We have Mameus on Deckard, Elial on Malganus, Botio on Blaze, Ratbass Toad on Cassia, and Codename Zero on Asmodan. Alright, Sapphire, Time to Feed, General Stimpak, Thunderstrike, Gluttony. Falling Thunder, Low Blow, Auto Attack, ooh, Laws of Hope. Don't see that too often. And Psy Fusion. Alright, Pokey, Pokey, Pokey. Where's Tassadar in this poke? Where's Asma with the Globes? Oh, misses, stun misses! I like that Blaze is always looking for a flank. All right, here comes my Ganus. It's going for some sleepy time. Oh, oh my gosh, but Tassadar, you missed Tassadar. He, he was just, oh my gosh. You didn't sleep Tassadar and Tassadar, he was tickling you. This auto attack doesn't do much damage, but if you stay on it, he will tickle you to death. All right. Blue team's making sure red team doesn't do their camp. Here we go. Full five man invasion, 5v4. They're giving up lots of soak. Oh my gosh. Unstoppable lasted long enough and survived the sleep. I thought he I thought he popped unstoppable too early. And my guys will be able to sleep him. Alright, red team tried for a gank there. That was a nice try. Oh, Joe face check the bush. Oh, and he gets to sleepy. Oh, my gosh. 70 stacks already. That's what's going to hurt at late game. Sleepy time. He gets two. The wall. The, okay. I don't think this is worth dying for a camp. Yep, they gave up the camp. They were just trying to poke. Here comes Thrall. Thrall came and said, nope. Went back up. No one's had time for camps because everyone's doing a good job checking. Alright, first camps are taken. Blaze is doing a little bit better job. Double soaking. Oh my gosh. Yo. <laughs> you walled out, Joe. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, that wall could be, be on the wrong side of the wall there. Oh. Botu. That's how you pronounce his name. Okay. Thank you for the update. Botu. Okay. I'll remember that for game three. Thrall needs to take this camp. Red team is ahead on camps, but blue team did get the bottom one. But Malganus is there to clean it up. But that gives blue team the first objective. First monkeys. But red team's got this camp pushing up top. 
Oh wait, they're going for this one too, so they're both teams are going to have top le level pressure. But it's all five red team here. Blue team needs to hurry up, catch up. Nice sleep. All right, here we go. Thrall, Thrall is not going to clear the top camp. He's going for the fight. They want this. Eight more. I think they can do it without Thrall. Maybe, maybe not. Oh, nice wall. Vala, they want Vala. All right, Thrall's back. They just... Oh my gosh. Malgana is doing a good job zoning out Vala, but Vala's getting... She's doing much better on her stacks this game. And blue team gets the game. Can they get Blaze? Oh, the wall! The wall! The wall! Can they get him? Get him? Oh, no! They didn't get him. Vala was on the bottom. It was only Tassadar. Val Vala was up top. He could have gotten at least a couple more stacks on, on Blaze. Yes, this is best of five. Semi-finals and finals are best of five. There's the jump. The wall's the end. It's the ice punish. Oh! The old man has gone to sleep himself. Oh, this is going to be the first fort. First fort. With no healer and the uh, frozen punisher. He's just going to freeze it. Now again. Oh, they jumped him again. And the wall. The wall and the silence. Oh, but what a combo. John Cena. John Cena's taking out the red team all by himself. But he's about to go down. But he, he was able to freeze the towers. Can they get the towers? Nope, they're not frozen anymore, but they still got one. And, okay. So, half a level lead for blue team and structural damage, but that was also the same case in the first game. So, don't count out the red team. There are two stacks on Casa, not too bad. 48 on Vala. Um, decent, not the best. 14 on Joe. So he's got um, more health. I don't think they're going to give this camp for free. But Malganus is in the back line. Here comes Blaze, but they're tense. They got tense. Here we go. Nice shield by Joe and the salt and the black hole takes out Malganus. And Blaze is going to be second to fall. No front line again. And Cassia is slowed by the earthquake. She's going to get body blocked. She's body blocked. That's three down. Three down. And they get the camp. They steal the camp. I mean, I don't know. I think they should push. Bottom? But now they're gonna push mid. I think, yeah, I was gonna say Thrall should go bottom, push bottom. It's five kills to zero. Red team has not killed anyone yet. Nice, gonna end the wall! Oh, uh, but the wall was not placed well. If the, if the wall was put, placed um, vertical. That would have stopped Morganus. All right, Blaze is going for a steal. Here we go. There's the stun. There's the stun. Thrall's got to run. Nope. Thrall's is no. There's my camp. Oh, he gets it. He gets it. Oh, please. Oh, please do. He fought Thrall. Oh my God. Thrall with the plays. Oh, Blaze thought he ran. He, uh, he still gets the camp. Oh, nice job. Nice job, Thrall. Alright. Objective is up top. Well, is going to clean up mid. 13 seconds to objectives. They get this two towers down. This is going to be huge if they get the objective again. Alright. Red team's going to have a camp pushing. That'll help them a little bit. But blue team's going to get 13s. Here comes Blaze. Are they gonna flank? They are looking to flank. 
I'm looking to flank. But now guys might die! Oh my gosh! It's all and then there's Earthquake! And oh my gosh! And there goes Vala! Vala lost the first stack! But Blaze is coming in! Lornado! It's Lornado! It's pushing him away! But the wall! The wall in the bunker! Oh! Tesla goes down! Cassie is getting him! But can she might pay for it! Joe's gonna condemn him! Does she have his land there and go throw against Cassia? Oh, and Stu comes down! But can they get Blaze? They, uh, Joe, you need to get Blaze! Oh! The stun! The stun on Thrall! Uh, Joe might go down too! And there's- Oh! The triangle hits! The triangle hits! Joe, armor three! Math gets Joe! And it's a- Oh, Vol's back up. She died early. It was a five-man team wipe, but Vol came back. Nice! That was a nice flank by the red team. Even though they lost Malganus early. He sacrificed himself for the red team to come to come around for the flank. It's just like the first game. Blue team takes the early lead and red team comes back. Oh, and the camp gets an objective on the fort. Nice. Alright, Castler is all the way out here. He needs to come and help. He's going to get flanked, though. Oh my gosh. Alright, Red Team has taken the experience lead. And might just take the... Oh my gosh. Nice, Dukov, push! Oh, but he was... Oh, oh, he jumps up three of them! John Cena, the earthquake, and the wall! Can they get one? Don't the shield! They get Cassia! That's one of their damage dealers, and the objective's down! Oh, Malganus, black hole to push out Malganus, and they get, get Deckard! Can they get Malganus? Oh, he's, he's gonna sacrifice himself! He's got a globe! He's got another globe! He's got one more, and the sleep! The sleep misses! The opening, he just pops his ult, and... Yeah, but he's still gonna go to the end of the wall. Again, it's, um, pop dog conversion and survives a little bit longer, but with four people, five people pounding on him with end the wall, not gonna survive. And blue team gets the corresponding top four. So it's pretty much even now, experience wise and structure wise. Oh, Blaze misses and is the wall. Can he, he might pay for it? Oh, but Magats comes in, bunkers pop. Here comes Asmo. Asmo, you need to dunk right there. Oh, he gets three. Oh, he's gonna hurt. How many? Oh, he's finished his things already. Oh my gosh, he's gonna. Oh, Tasner snipes Magats though. Blaze is stuck in the back line again. Oh, his flag and the wall! The wall! The wall! Oh my god! That was a beautiful wall! That was a beautiful wall! Oh my gosh. And they get the fort. Nice job. And they stole the camp. All right, blue team has firmly taken control of this game. Level lead, structural damage. Camps, camps, camps. That's the name of the game and pull objectives up. They got 17 seconds, so nothing to do but get camps. One more camp left. You got 10 seconds to get it.
All right. Blue team gets it. Oh, they're going for Blaze. Oh, can is there shield? Nope. Okay, there. Blaze dodged a bullet there. Has to condemn. All right, no one started it yet. Who's going to start it? There we go. Red team has to clear. The red team has to give the early portion anyway. But Asmo, he's going to hurt. He's finished it. He's got all 400 stacks. But level two. Oh, they're going to steal. I like this. I like this. Go where the other team is not. Is this, a, could this be a base race? No way, they can't do that. They have to hard. They got John Cena. Blue team's got John Cena. There is no way you're gonna, but they're here, but red team's already here. The red team's already here. They could, they are, yeah. Oh, this is bold. Red team's gonna definitely lose the keep. They're definitely, red team's gonna lose the keep. Oh, no wall again! And the silence! Oh, oh my gosh! The wall and the silence. And I think John Cena's gonna take out this keep with this catapult. I mean, I, that was a good idea, but there's no way you're gonna get it. Oh, the shield! The condemn! And the... And the wall! And the style! Wait, what happened to the wall? I could have sworn I saw the wall there. This is still game two. Ultimate hooks. So you haven't miss, missed it, but looks like blue team's about to win it. With two down, looks like the blue team is gonna go for it. And the wall again! Oh my god! And the silence! Dark conversion just barely... Just barely kept them a little longer. It isn't GG. All right. Lornado is doing its best, but there's two Lornados. It's doing its best. Black hole to zone him out. Earthquake. GG. GG. All right. Mr. Tassadar Wall himself. MVP. MVP with the wall. Asma with the most damage, but couldn't confirm any kills. Could not confirm any kills. Lots of damage, area damage. Stukov was able to heal them all up. Bala with 41k, but 17 to 5 kills. Asadar with the walls and then the silence. I mean, forget it. What a combo. What a combo. Everyone died once. Look at that. One, 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 one. Nice job, blue team. Takes a commanding 2-0 lead. All right. Is it reverse sweep time? Is it reverse sweep? Who knows? We will see. Um, while we wait, let's look at the... Um, the bracket. And we are, here we are, number, um, number two and three. Evenly matched. They both won their first round of domination, two zeros. So the winner will face off against either No Time to Die or Heavy Group Therapy. I don't know when their game is. But maybe if we watch the little ticker taper here, we might see it. Um, but yeah, oh, I should update this. They're winning 2-0. Uh, where is the bracket? One, two, update. There we go. They're winning 2-0. Best out of three, though. 
No, still time. Still time for hot chads. They were not number three for nothing, so they could come back. Let's... Okay. I have not seen what the next map is. Okay, it looks like the next map is going to be B O E. And it looks like it was picked by the. Oh, let's see. Okay, so I, was picked, so I was picked by the red team. All right, we are in... Blue team. Update. There we go. All right, I think that's all right. Hot chads pick first pick. So map pick by FC Hong Kong. Or tennis pick? Maybe Hoku. One can only hope. B-O-E. I think the problem in the second game for Hot Chads was Morganus. He was kind of squishy, and he would dive in, and then he would get walled in. So I think maybe Murgan would have been better, so he could have jumped over the wall. And Val's first band. Okay. They are not doing their normal um, offlane bands. There are Shifting strategy because it didn't work the first two games, I guess. I thought Bala was the problem. Not quite sure about that. But right wing is again the first band for the blue team. They still will ban so Sonya though, which means Liark is still up. They banned Liark the first two games. Oh, you're right. Murden would would have struggled with that silence. So any um, any tank, would, if they get caught behind the wall in the silence, would have trouble. And tomorrow, okay. So blue team, same bands, and Joanna. Joanna's always been first pick if she's up. Um, there should be a delay. Let me double check. And Li Ming is the first pick. Really good on this map. And Andaman. Ooh, Light Bomb. Light Bomb and, um, and the Pulse. And Liark. Okay, so they didn't ban Liark because they wanted Liark themselves. They were tired of Blaze, so that means Blaze is up if blue team wants it. And Rainer, ooh, I wonder if it's going to be AFK Rainer. Just stay in the lane. All right, bands. What are the bands? Ronda. Hmm, interesting band. Toronto was played in the first game. So, okay. Not sure why. 
Oh, Tron therefore her trait on the immortal. They don't want them to um to put the trait on the immortal. And then you have Rainer there. Okay, I can do that now. And Blaze. Okay, so they didn't want to give up Blaze, they wanted Leoric specifically for this map. But Sylvanas! Oh my gosh, if they get the objective. And Muradin. If they get an objective, Savannah is going to push hard with the objective. Alright, so Red Team needs a healer and another DPS. Ooh, Karazi! Oh, double healer! Double healer Rainer! Okay, let's go! Double healer! Karazim, though, does a lot of damage, too, so I, I can see it. And Rainer's going to be the battery for Ariel and Thrall. Thrall all three games. All right. Not gonna be enough though. Double healer. Rainer carry. I don't think I've ever seen Rainer carry. All right, game three, the start of the reverse sweep. On the left side, blue team FC Hong Kong. We have Geo on Thrall again, Tizzle on Anduin, Splendid Daddy on Sylvanas, Calyrex on Li Ming, Alan Hicks on Murden. And on the right side, Hot Chad. We have Ilial on Joanna, Botu on Liaric. Mimaeus on Ariel, Ratbass Toad on Casium, Karzim, and Codename Zero on Raynor. Alright, Laws of Hope again. Interesting. I guess you don't really need the shield. Maybe on Sylvanas? Okay. Righteous Assault, Iron Fist, Exterminator as expected, Rolling Thunder, Even Handing Blessing, and Pulling Shadows, Ether Walker, and Perfect, perfect Storm. All right, that's change up. He didn't pick that in the first game. I guess he's doing that for the race. And then gets three. Kazim goes to after Lee Ming. Oh my gosh, that orb miss. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, Thrall. I think that's what Leoric is good at. Leoric and um, Gul'dan is known for that. All right, Savant is looking for a flank. So is Karazim. Karazim. All right, no real fireworks yet. Rainer is going to try to sneak the camp up top. Doesn't look like he was spotted. So that should be an easy camp. Oh. Did he see him? I don't know. I don't think he spotted him. I think uh, Leark did a good job zoning, zoning him out that he didn't see it. Which means blue team does not know that they can take this 4v3 on the bottom because they have no DPS. Nice play by the red team there. Nice, especially on Leark there. He kept it hidden that Maynard was not on the bottom and there was no DPS on the bottom. And Rainer's back. Oh, Stormbolt misses! Okay. 
And this is a nice push on top. Because Liark will beat Thrall. Yeah, okay. The double support is working. It's working pretty good so far. But it's still early. And Joe's there too. Nice. Oh, but is it enough? They're here. And they get it. Oh! Murder was a little late. To condemn with Joe gets two. They need to get out of there. All right, red team is playing really well. They got two camps. Blue team has got none. Half level lead for the red team and objective in 14. The camp got a little bit damage. Not too bad. They all came down here to get the camp. All right. The blue team is meant for for the objective fighting. The red team is slow. It's late. Oh, they're going to defend first. Oh, yes. Wow, the hat was in Kaizen. They are doing... Uh, I think... When... When Red Team gets tens with the shield and then the entomb... Oh, okay, we got a disconnect. Okay, that's um That's unfortunate. I'm going to start and getting good. Hopefully, he'll be able to reconnect. All right, also to recap, both teams are level five. Hot Chad's is slightly ahead of experience, maybe like a quarter of level. And in terms of their mortal race, they're mostly even. About 15%, 20% on of them. And Rainer is... Okay, he's still trying to connect. Okay, they they say that he's still trying to connect. Which means it's not like a power outage. I mean, he still has power if he's trying to reconnect. Oh, he says he can't, he can't get back in the game. Uh oh. I don't know what you do about this. Do they have to play as a bot? It's 3 minutes 36 seconds into the game. And he already did a full reboot. Uh, this is, it's not the best way to end. Oh, okay. Blue team is offering to restart, even though it's 
three and a half minutes in because they'd rather play a full game instead of having a bot. Okay, so we are restarting this. Especially since Red Team was ahead, experience-wise and structural-wise. All right. I am out of the game. I hope they don't change their mind because <laughs> I already left. When Blue Team said, let's restart, Red Team said, are you sure? Blue Team said, yes. So I left the lobby. All right, we got a new lobby. My, mad props for um, FC Hong Kong for um, giving a restart. We shouldn't have to go through the draft again. Pick the same same people. I hope they know how to set that up. We're still missing one person and it's not the person who disconnected. <laughs> All right, we're all in. It looks like the lobby settings look correct. Everyone's got their correct heroes. Glory to the Horde. All right, like Ash Bass says, let's go game 3.5. All right, should we do the introductions again? No, we already did the introductions. We all know who they are, and we all know the talents. I assume it's going to be all the same talents. Uh, and Geo already says, no suck, please, already. <laughs> he said that in the first game, so he's just repeating what he said in the second game. All right, here we go. Let the battle begin. Take two. All right, so the real question is, will Rainer get away with taking this camp again? Oh, look at this. No one wants to do anything. We will have to see. Okay, here we go. We're looking for a flank, Karazin's looking for a flank, and again he goes after! Leeming, <laughs> same exact start. Same exact start. Karazin comes down the side, goes after Leeming. Nice whip by um, Ariel there. I don't think there was any deaths, so... Oh, but it could be the first... Oh, nice condemn, and nice whip! Oh my gosh, nice CCs, and Murden has to jump out. I, I think... Karazin's job is just to focus on Li Ming. I think that's what he's doing. And here comes Rainer. Here we go. Can you pull it off again? I think so. He's he's zoned Thrall out far enough. 
Now, well, they realize it that they have no DPS in the bottom. Oh, look. Savannah's is doing the same thing. Oh, <laughs> there we go. They're, they're, they're going after. Can they get him? They steal the camp at least. Oh, the root misses. Oh, okay. They learned the lessons. They learned the lesson. Instead of going for this camp, they went and stole the camp from them. Nice condemn. And they're still gonna go. Nope. They're checking. They're both are checking. And here comes. Nice stun. Rainer doesn't care. Rainer doesn't care. He's got exterminated. He's gonna burn this down fast. Oh wow, Joe's. Oh, I was gonna say Joe is doing a good job keeping them busy. Oh, Ariel with the whip. Okay, no, oh, Rainer. Oh. It looked like Li Ming was going about to um, jump in, but Rainer pushes her back. Oh, nice play by Rainer. Oh, really nice. All right, let's see how much. Okay, the camp up top didn't do much. In fact, Thrall lost some damage there, and the bottom got a little damage here. I know I'm for it after Walker. Okay. They're gonna get camps. They got camps faster, and here it comes. They're already started. Where is Learka? Oh, Learka gonna cut the camp on the bottom. Oh, Savannas. Oh, nice route. That was a nice route. Tarazim has no fear. But the blue team's winning the objective. Nice stun by Meriden. Vanus has to clear and Liark has to clear. Actually, Liark's done. He's coming up to, come to help. Vanus is almost done, but she's got a shorter way to go. Here comes Liark, though. Oh, nice pull by Anduin. I thought Merton was in trouble, but there's no more pull for Thrall! Oh, and the condemn! Thrall is gone, and he loses his stacks! Oh my gosh. Alright, they didn't even get half time. And Merton goes down too. Front line is gone. Oh, can they get a counter kill? Nope. Alright, Rainer's on it. Rainer's gonna make up for lost time. Alright. Blue team was able to get half time. That'll buy some time for our blue team to regroup. Red team has a slight advantage. Oh, can they get no? He's oh, nice whip by Ariel to save him. Oh, here comes Adrian. He's back. Can he heal him? He's got to heal. Rainer's uncontested in the back line. Blue team needs to either get a kill fast because they're going to lose it to Rainer. This double support is working well. Oh, and Rainer gets it. Oh my gosh, so close now. 2,000 hit points. 2,000 shield. All right. Double support. Rainer carry is working. Nice whip by Ariel. One point there. Alright, what can they get? They got the towers. They might get this top fort. It's well, it's dying pretty fast. Oh, but so is the fort. Oh they Oh, can they get it? Oh my gosh. Who's gonna die first? The fort or an objective? Oh, it's so close. They still might get the fort! Oh! On the last dying breath! Objective takes out the top fort. Alright, double support is working. And on the bottom... Oh, Root misses. Oh, 
Half a level lead. Red team's gonna get pants and they're it's gonna get really scary with the entomb. I assume Karazim's gonna get seven sided strike. The entomb, seven sided strike. Oh, Karazim goes in! He's got 60 points! Can he get Holy oh, no, dude! He had no jump! Oh, that was Thrall. He had no jump at all. <laughs> oh my god. Three kills to zero. Red team is commanding lead. And they got tens. Seven side strike. Hyperium. Aegis. And two. This is gonna be the second fort. The team needs to get their tens. Oh, they didn't get the fort. They're gonna push with it. They got a camp. I'm not sure why Li Ming is up top. Oh, because Thrall is doing camps. Okay. He's covering. Okay, camps taken here too. Alright, red team commanding lead. And they're ready on the... This is going to be easy half time show. Easy half time show. I must take up a new position. All right. I think, I guess blue team's going to give up this camp. This camp's going to do a lot of damage. Blue team needs to do something while Leoric's not with them. But man, those aerial whips are on point every time someone comes in. Just whips him back. <laughs> looking for in tomb. Lurk's looking for in tomb. Can they get him? Oh! Light bomb! Jumps in! Oh, but the gauges! Light bomb misses! Oh, and the tomb gets one! And the seven side strike! And there goes Lurk! The first one down though! Go! Li Ming gets the reset! Oh, but Edwin's down! Karazine's down! The Li really Ming resets! It's real! Oh, and the arrow goes down! Another reset! Can they get another reset? And this time! Oh! And Raider's going down! Oh my god! Blue team turns it around! They lost their healer, but Li Ming reset city! Oh! And, okay, I was gonna say the camp is gonna... Is that... I don't think that's gonna be enough, Leoric and Joanna. But, oh my gosh. We still got... It's got a lot. Wow, just like that, it's pretty much an even. Though, blue team needs to get some structural damage here. I right, getting some free hits on it while blue team clears the wave. Shields are already down. They might not get much. They might get the tower and the gate unless they get a kill. Oh my gosh, it's dying so fast. With Rainer there. I don't think they're going to get this fort. Oh, the light bomb! Oh, it's unstoppable! And he still jumps in! Oh my gosh, that was not a good jump. He hit the light bomb with the aerial whip, pushes them away, and Joe pops unstoppable, so light bomb misses everyone, but he still jumps in. I guess he was mid jump, and then the when the whip ended, he still jumped. Well, they got over half, so not too bad. And they still saved this fort. Those thralls doing a decent job there. Not doing too good in the stacks though. though. Alright, they're looking for a flank. Li Ming and Meriden. Here we go. Seven side strikes, but nothing. Here we go. Li Ming, can they get anything? Nope. My pyramids pop. Li oh, they got one right down. The DPS is down. Oh, and the earthquake's slowing down. And the root. Can they get Joe? Does he have unstoppable? Oh, and yes. Four man down. Get this. They're going to. Yeah, they're going for the fort. Li Ark didn't care. He wanted this. Fort, and he will get it. He sacrificed four members. 
Oh, he didn't get it. He didn't get it. Oh, five man team wiped. 179 hit points. He went for it. He sacrificed four teammates and didn't get it. Blue team turns it around. Alright, just like that. Red team is ahead. Experience and structure. Nice. Oh, I was going to say nice condemn, but even a better pull by Anduin. Nice whip. I mean, Ariel on her whips are keeping them in it. All right, it's a five-man defense. Oh, then Tomb gets one, but the light bomb. The, oh, they hit the light bomb gets Karazim. Light bomb, Karazim was stuck in between the in Tomb, and then the light bomb gets them. Leoric's dead, but that's Leoric. Can they, oh, nice Rainer, push back. Are they going to chase or are they going to just go for their mortal? They are just going for their mortal. There's half time. Still the camp. Still the camp. Still the camp. Still the camp. Oh, we're still in the camp. All right. Rainer's doing the camp. I think if if Rainer had gone on the objective instead, it would have been much closer. But I guess they were willing to give it up and just cut their losses and get something and get a camp. All right, red team's got our camp up there. Could potentially get the top key. The red team has to have a good defense here and, and save as much as possible. There's the earthquake. Can they get? Oh, and the Li Ming. Oh, Karazim's jumping on Li Ming and seven side strikes. Nothing, but he might pay for it. No, he survives. He's oh, and two. Tim gets to minus, but he's okay. Oh, and Joe, they got Joe. There's the front line. The front line's down. Karazim's going for it. He pays for it. And they get the fort. Two down. Two down. It's just Leoric and Rainer and Ariel. Can they... This keep is going down. Oh, no thralls back. I appear to push him out. But... Okay. They saved the keep. Thrall. Oh, maybe. You need to kill this guy. 2,000 hit points. Okay, he saves it. Seems like Karazim's job is just to jump on Li Meng. But if you don't kill her instantly, you're like deep in the back line. Uh oh, we're going to be in trouble. Nice whip, seven side strike, get the hits. Three people though. Light bomb misses, oh! Light bomb on Thrall, but he dies! Merton jumps out in Tomb! And oh my gosh, Carrie just jumps in, Savannah, you could be in trouble. Oh, wow. Nice. Nice play. Red team. They put the light bomb on Thrall, and I think he was undecided on what to do. Did he go in with the light bomb or run away? Instead, he just dies. I think Anduin should have just pulled him instead of light bombing him. Alright, red team's not totally out of it yet, but they are down levels. Blue team is going to get 20s really soon, but not before the objective starts. And Thrall still got another 5 seconds. Alright, Rainer is on the objective. The rest of the team is 
Trying to defend. Oh, here we go, Lee Mingan! In two misses! Oh, in two misses! That's big! That's big! Oh! Joe! Oh my gosh, Lee Ming just barely missed Joe! And the Earthquake! Earthquake! Oh, and there's one Karazine down! Yeah! Oh, that Kar- I mean... Ah, oh, Karazine just dives in and then... If you don't get the kill, you're just gonna die. I mean... Rainer did actually a pretty good job there. Got a lot done. But so did Li Ming and Sylvanas. Red team is just gonna give it up. Gonna give it up with a really big shield. 24,000 shield. This could be game. This could be game. Ooh, red team's going top. I mean, blue team's going top. I think they're going top. Are they looking for rotation? They see. They should see him on bottom now. Yep, they're going top. With a with a Savannah, they should be able to take this out. Yep, that's right. Just run to it, Savannah. She should be there. There he goes. Yeah, I, this should go down. Yep, there it goes. First keep. And this one's still pretty healthy. Oh, the blue team. Are they going for it? If they get a reset, they might get it. And Tomb gets one. They, oh, the shield misses. The shield from Joe misses. And Karazin again dives the back line. The stasis, but you're dead. You're dead. No, it's Joe. Light bomb. Oh my gosh, light bomb misses. Uh, if if that was anyone else but Joe, he would have been dead. Oh, look at him. Keep saved. Gonna pass on the camp and just go for the bottom keep. Blue team just needs to wait for 20s. I don't think he needed to use a trade value there, but... I guess to be sure. Red team's core is under there we go. Red team really needs 20s. But I don't think they're going to get it. Unless they get Meriden. Yeah, they got to back up. Karazim's dead. Is back again. How many times did Karazim die? Karazim died six times. Tries to dive the back line, but... Not enough. All right, camps, camps, camps. Nothing left to do but get camps for 28 seconds. Alright, five seconds. This is gonna be the final objective. I fight for the glory. Blue team wins. Easy straight to the core. If the red team wins, we got top that they can go to. Oh! Oh no! Oh, but it's Joe. Oh, and then two! The silence and two! They get uh, the seven side strike, and the light bomb gets three! The light bomb gets three! Oh my gosh! Oh, but no one died! Wow, double healer is keeping them all... Keeping them all alive, but Murden! Murden's trying to go kerosene! Oh my gosh, Lee Ark's dead. Trade value, trade value. But that was a reset for Lee Ming. But couldn't capitalize on it. Oh, but he capitalized on that. Karazim goes down again. And then Joe goes down. A thrall goes down. Leor goes down. Oh, five man team wipe with uh, camp not on core. <laughs> camp not on core. <laughs> okay. Come on, guy. He dies. GG. GG. Double support, hyper carry Rainer. Worked well early, but once 
Blue team got tens. Let's look at some stats. Yeah, look at that. 811 0. 90k. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. All right, let me see if I can get an interview. All right. Let's see, who is their captain? Oh, hello. Hey, Peldor, how you doing tonight? Pretty good. So we have Alan Hicks here. Um, yes, sir. He was our tank player. Nice job. Nice job. Thank you. First off, didn't make it easy. Yeah, but first I want to say, nice job in offering a reset on that game three when they got the disconnect. That was really nice of you. Oh yeah, that was uh, that was just a team thing. That wasn't just a me thing. Uh, I mean we. We came to play. We didn't want to win that way. Right. I, I agree. That that was good. Especially since they had a slight lead. Not a big lead, but they did have a slight lead. Yeah, they did. Uh they had a slight lead in experience and you know, we, we kinda got off on the bad on the wrong foot. Right. You know, starting the game three when they had the big D C. Uh so it kind of helped us to uh you know, to reorganize, refocus, start back off fresh and we actually knew that, you know, they're going to sneak Rainer top and yeah. try and sneak that camp. And well, now we're not going to let them do that this time. You were ready this time. I was wondering if you're going to see it. Then I saw Savannah sneak off in the back and got there just in time, too. Yeah. Yeah. Right. They, uh, they were doing a good job trying to, uh, you know, force camps. But fortunately, uh, you know, we were able to get a bit of a lead on the map after a little while. And then, you know, they weren't able to put that pressure on us anymore. All right, so let's circle back to the first game, Alperac Pass. I actually thought yeah. they were going to turn it on you when, when they went, when y'all went to the boss at the very bottom at the end, and you lost. Yeah, that was a hell of a call. But you know, we we had our alts up. We had a uh, earthquake with earth and shields, and you know, we didn't have our tank, but right. Thrall could kind of serve as that pseudo tank, especially with earth and shields. We had a uh, junk rat with the uh, the uh, bomb to boot people off right. with a rip tire. Uh, so it was risky, but, you know, we felt like it was a calculated risk that we needed to take at that moment. I, I applaud that call because I would have gone back and just defended without your tank. But that was absolutely the right call. Yeah, well, they were missing, you know, we were missing our tank, but they were missing, I believe, their support. No, they were missing Jaina. So they were missing some of their damage. Right. Uh, and they really only had two damage dealers. They had, I think, Joe Blaze, uh, Jaina, Zuljin, and Anduin, maybe. I forget who their their healer was, but they were missing half their damage. They had uh, time to their healer. AOE damage, too, so... So uh, it was it was definitely risky, but uh, it was uh, it, it was uh, it, it, well we we pulled it out. Uh, I'm going to give MVP on that first game to Thrall because he was the front line on that last boss call, and he yeah, made it happen. We we certainly gave him praise for jumping in there. Yes, he did really well. Yeah. And game two, Infernal Shrines. This yeah, time you uh, had Joe. Yeah, I mean, if they're going to give me Joe, I'm going to take her. Yeah, right? it's like no one bans him, and so they, everyone first picked him. It's like, wow, okay. Yeah, well, you know, we, we'd we focused our bans on on what they were most comfortable with, and they had focused their bans on targeting uh, one player on our team. The offlaner? Uh, yeah, I that, noticed that. That left, you know, some of the priority picks up. And... Uh, let's see. Who did they have? Oh, they had Malganus. Yeah. I thought every time he jumped in, Tassadar would just wall him in and then Stukov would just silence him. Yeah. So uh, I gave Tassadar. And we tried, we tried to save the uh, the Johanna Condemn for when he was starting his sleep. 
because if you can shut that down, then you know you really shut down Malganus. Right. So I, I'm giving Tassadar an MVP on the second one just for his walls. I, I certainly wouldn't dispute that. He was like on point pretty much all the time there. And on third game, I got to give Lee Ming the MVP because with all those resets. Yeah, yeah. Reset City. Oh my gosh. Yeah, there were there was tons of resets. Li Ming put out, I think something like ninety seven thousand damage. Which, uh, you know, anytime you're pushing six digits hero damage, it's a good night for that character, right? Yep. Uh, she had nine. But they did not make that game three easy. You know, they they were down o two and they they did not quit. They they kept fighting and they they pulled out a a kind of unconventional draft with the double support. Yeah. Uh, double but, support you know, that's lane. a map that you can get away with it. Cause you don't necessarily require as much lane clear and with uh rain or with exterminator and such, you kind of make up for some of that. Right. And there was a lot of times when he was just on the objective and the other four was defending and they right. did relatively well. Yeah. But I think they got the very first, uh, objective. objective. Yes. And uh, they may have gotten another. No, I think we got everything after the first one. I think so too. But there were some that were close, I believe. It, it was mainly once you hit tens, with Li Ming was able to just poke from far away. Yeah. And then it just turned on them. Yeah, we had a little more, little bit more survivability. Uh, past ten, they didn't quite have the damage they needed to. Uh, to keep us out, although, you know, th their kerosene was consistently diving on the Lee Ming yeah, to uh, <laughs> sort of. try to, to you know, try to keep her from from throwing those long range bombs. And, right. and we, uh, you know, we noticed that early when the, uh, you know, when Game Three first started and we had to reset. We noticed he was doing that, and so we kept an eye on it, you know, in Game Two. I mean, Cal was already calling it, you know, when when the, you know, during the first one was that he was heavily, you know, targeting Lee Ming, uh, and so we we tried to look for that and then counter engage on the uh, the uh, kerosene once he went in, and yeah. we were able to get a number of kills on him or or push them out. If he doesn't get the kill, then he's dead, pretty much. Right. Exactly. So now that you're in the finals, you get to play either No Time to Die or Heavy Group Therapy. Do you have a preference? I'm not sure that we do, honestly. Uh, you know, we, we've played every team in this division. We haven't, you know, we ha we didn't beat every team in the regular season, but uh, we feel like we can beat every team. Uh, you know, we, we feel like when we bring our A game and we stay focused and we stay patient uh, that, you know, there isn't a team in the division that is such a cut above us that we can't handle them. You know, mm -hmm. it'll, it'll be interesting, whichever team uh, advances, uh, you know, whichever team advances, I think it'll be interesting, fun games and, you know, to, to the best man win or the, may, may the best team win. Best, best team win, yeah. I don't see them on their calendar, so I don't see when their game is actually scheduled yet. So they might not have scheduled it yet. They may not have. I, I'm honestly not certain. I haven't been watching the uh, the games of other uh, other teams in the division in playoffs uh, because we just we kind of have to wait to see right. who we're going to play, right, and then scout them. Right. Actually, here it is. They play May 9th. So that's May 9th. So that'll May 9th. be three days from now, Thursday. Thursday, yeah. All right. So I assume you're going to have a watch party to see who, who you play? I'm not certain. You know, we might, but Thursday nights is a regular practice night for us. So we uh, may okay. just be practicing. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah. Well, do you have any shout outs you'd like to give? Well, first, I'd like to give you a shout out for casting us. We really do appreciate that. I'd like to shout out our, you know, the opposing team, the Chads. They, they put up a heck of a fight. Uh, and, you know, best luck to them in next season. Uh, we had a great season with them, really enjoyed playing with them and and look forward to seeing them again. I'd like to shout out my teammates, Gio, Cal, 
Tiz and Splenda. They've been uh, excellent to play with all season long. All right. Nice job. Again, GG, well played. And all good right, luck. Thank you. You have a wonderful day now. Thank you. You too. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. All right, that concludes our match tonight. Um, there's no other games going on that I can raid you to. Um, so thank you. That was, this was the very first semifinal game of season 17. Um, we have a 3-0 win by um, FC Hong Kong. Oh, wait, there is a game I can... I could rate you too. It's not a semifinal. It is um, Division A, Easy Blues versus so Soakers. Um, let me raid you over. Oh, I can't raid you over. I this is not my channel. This is the NGS channel. Never mind. So I will say good night to you. And I do not know when my next cast is. Um, so 